If you didn't catch the stream this past week, I'm finally delving into the futures market. In this past week, I went 7 for 10 green trades, 70% accuracy, plus 100% daily accuracy. And the strategies I used worked incredibly well, and so make sure to stick around because in this video, we're fully breaking down step by step those strategies, plus more. What's up team? It's your favorite day trading YouTuber, John with Beginner Trading, and we're back today for another strategy breakdown. Like I said in the intro, I finally started trading futures this past week and it was a pretty easy transition because in the past I've pairs traded and traded the overall S&P 500 a ton and the SPY and it's been a really easy transition and a really profitable one so far. I'm using a funded account program and if you want to check that out I'll include a link in the description but in this video specifically we're fully breaking down the strategies I used and you can see my results here I went 7 out of 10 green trades and overall was really really accurate using these strategies I'm about to show you before we get started with that though if you want to help support our completely free content you can hit the like button hit the sub button below and if you click the join button it's only $4.99 a month and it's a great way to help support our completely free content now with all of that said, let's take a look at these really profitable strategies. Okay, so in day trading, your real goal is to find the best way to profit using the most leverage with no PDT rule. And that's something that most new and experienced traders are constantly looking for in the market. And so really, I don't know why I haven't traded it before, but the futures market is just that. It actually lets you trade with no PDT rule, a decent amount of leverage, the platform I'm using has zero commissions, and so with that if you know how to trade you can really profit from this type of futures market now with all of that said though I'm trading something called the e-mini which is basically like a mini version of the overall market or the S&P 500 now with all of that the e-mini is just a futures contract that tracks the S&P 500 market index and it's traded on the CME which is the Chicago Mercantile Exchange its trading is almost 24 hours a day it's only closed for half an hour up to an hour a day for maintenance and it uses the symbol ES now, if you're looking to trade futures, you don't necessarily just have to trade the mini S&P 500. You can also trade futures contracts on an abundance of different things, specifically the E-mini Russell 2000, the E-mini Dow, NASDAQ, crude oil, natural gas, gold, silver, cattle prices, so forth and so on. And so you have an abundance of different things to trade, but if you're looking to specifically target momentum, just like I am, I think you wanna go with the E-mini S&P 500. That's mostly because if you've ever traded Apple or Tesla or all of these other companies that make up the S&P 500, it's gonna be a much easier transition to just trading the overall market. And as an example, let's look back at my previous trading and what I have experience with. I've pairs traded the SPY and S&P 500 a ton in the past, and so trying to predict what the actual market is doing has actually been something I've done a decent amount historically. And so making that transition to simply trading the overall market with the e-mini makes a lot more sense and I think I'm going to be more easily able to identify that momentum trading it than any of these other options. Now always the other options are up to you. If you do want to trade any of these other things you can profit from them but for me specifically in this video we're looking at strategies for the e-mini futures contracts. The strategies we're about to go over are specifically momentum based usually in the first 30 minutes to an hour after the market open so from around 9 30 a.m all the way up to about 11 a.m. is when I target these strategies. So with all of that said now, let's take a look. Okay, so the first strategy I want to go over today is the green to red move. And for this, I'm just looking at the SPY, which is the overall market, and it's ultimately what the mini S&P or the E-mini is based around. And so we're just looking at the SPY to keep it easy so we can see where pre-market is. It's a little bit easier to follow along with the time of day using just the simple SPY chart. And so that's what we're ultimately going to use in this video. But don't get it wrong, the E-mini does follow this, and this is basically what the e-mini is here and so when we look at the spy the first thing we want to see for a green to red move is obviously a bullish few candles at the opening bell on this specific example we could see those first two green candles were moving up nice and strong until we got a really quick reversal and a break of this previous low right here now if you're looking to trade this you can either just jump in at this momentum on the downside trading a few contracts on the e-mini or you can wait for confirmation. 
Me, as a scalper, I tend to prefer just to jump in as soon as it breaks that previous low of the day, hold it for a few seconds and then get out, scalping that momentum using E-mini futures contracts. Here's another really nice example of the same type of green to red move, and this one was a little bit longer term of a move, but ultimately carried with it a lot of momentum as well. Again, in that first, you know, one to 15 minutes, you have some upward moving candles, some green candles, and then you get a really nice rejection and a break of that previous low, moving underneath the VWAP and breaking those levels. Once they actually break those previous low of the day, the more confirmation that it had previously, the better it's going to follow through in my opinion. And so if you're trading futures contracts, you can take anywhere between one to five futures contracts and scalp this downward momentum when the SPY or the S&P 500 does this. And this happens pretty consistently. Again, I see this happen a ton. It obviously doesn't happen every day just because the market is not bearish every single day, but it's a really nice strategy to watch and profit from using the E-mini futures contracts. If you're looking for a long strategy for the E-mini, you can basically do the opposite of the previous one. Instead of looking for a green to red move, we can target red to green moves, but if you want these to work, I think you need a really obvious range, a much tighter range than the previous strategy. And so you can see an example here on the SPY, we had a really tight opening range that we can obviously see and document. And so we can wait for that range to break in the overall SPY or the overall market itself, and then we can scalp futures contracts using the E-mini. And so once the range actually breaks here, we can jump in with a few contracts and quickly jump out, scalping that upward momentum, and it seems to work really, really well. Now, before we go, I want to teach you something that will really protect your trading, trading the E-mini. Now again, the E-mini really revolves around the S&P 500 and the overall market. And so if you're looking to trade momentum using the E-mini, you want to look for volatility to trade with. Now you can use this and do this by watching the VWAP level specifically. If you look at the market and it's been open for over 30 minutes and you can look at the SPY for instance, you can look to see if it's maintaining in a specific direction. If it's maintaining above the VWAP, it's in an upward trend. If it's maintaining below the VWAP, it's in a down trend but if it's not respecting the VWAP and if it's chopping above and below it it's in a neutral sideways trend and momentum is not going to work the best on that specific day and so you want to wait for the overall market or the SPY to maintain a specific direction either above the VWAP or below it and then attack that momentum if you're not trading reversals if the SPY is below the VWAP you want to target shorts and if it's above the VWAP you want to target longs again that's if you're not trading reversals and doing that will help protect your account because if you try to trade e-minis or the overall market in general during a choppy market if you try to buy the high of the day break when the market is choppy you're going to get faked out a ton and it's going to be a losing day and so you can protect yourself by avoiding trading on these specific days specifically when the market is not very volatile and sideways and so i hope that makes sense and i hope that's something that you can use with your own trading Anyways, team, that's it for this one. Remember, if you want to help support us, you can check out our own Discord if you need to reach out to us after these videos, plus Trader Mike's Discord, which is a super active penny stock Discord with a lot of great traders hanging out there every single day. And if you want to check both of those out, they're completely free. I'll include a link in the description. You can also go check out Eric's YouTube channel. He's been dropping some really fire videos for new traders, super helpful, and I'll include that link in the description as well. If you wanna use the funded account program I'm using for futures with a lot of great benefits, it's the cheapest funded account program I've seen for trading. I'll include a link in the description as well, and all of this stuff is a great way to help support our completely free content. Remember guys, take it slow entering a new market. It can get really volatile and crazy and risky. And so take it slow, trade small, and really try to learn before overexerting yourself in these markets. With all of that said, good luck. We'll see you all later. Have a good day team and thanks for watching.